The Spoon Fly by Kayak Flyer. This fly was originally used for redfish, but is great for smallmouth bass. What we're using is a Mustad S71 SNPDT in size 2. And then you have to take a pair of pliers and bend the hook to give it a rounded body shape. Begin with thread, a nice thread base. Next comes strong hackle. We're using this in a shrimp color. And you're just gonna tie that on to give it a tail. I like to tie mine on where they flip up a little bit for a little added movement. Next, crystal flash and shrimp pink as well. Next we'll add some micro flashaboo. This gives a little, just a little bit more flash in the water. Trigger those reactionary bites. And for the final touch, some pink craft fur goes on top. This will be the last bit of the tail. You don't have to tie as big a tail on. You can make a short tail. You can even make one with no tail whatsoever, depending on what you're fishing for. We were fishing for redfish using this to look more like shrimp, but we did find that it was extremely attractive for both large and smallmouth bass. Now these pre-cut spoons come from Creative Feather Studio. They're pre-cut and they're shiny silver on the bottom and pink on the top. You can get them in plenty of different colors and because they're pre-cut, they come with a tab for the tail end and for the front end. So simply wrap it around gently a couple of times, pull it tight and make sure that it is even on the top. That is the hardest thing. Because this fly will be epoxied together, you want to make sure that the body of the spoon lays on the hook. You don't want to leave any gap. Simply move your thread forward once you've wrapped in the tail and come all the way up. Now we'll wrap in the front of the fly and make sure you leave a little bit of space because we're actually going to add an eye to that, a bead chain eye. As you can see there I'm securing it to make sure the body is touching the hook. A bean chain eye will allow it to sink and flutter. So go ahead and tie that on. Whip finish. And then once you're done, you're going to take and apply some epoxy to this entire fly body, uh, the top and bottom, because this body is very, very fragile. And then use uh, what we've found as good as hard as nails, or you could even use some Loon UV. And uh, once you get a bunch of these tied, then you can go through and epoxy a bunch of them all at once. They work out great and they're incredibly durable once you epoxy and use the hard as nails or UV finish. Hope you enjoyed this. Um, please like and subscribe to the channel.